Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. Um, we've done a couple of a couple of good runs recently. A couple of runs that didn't really succeed the way I wanted them to. Let's random a ship, the Tetragon. You know what I like about this? It's not one of the other three ships that we've played recently. We get Blotch, Huts, and Zemu, Alanius, and two NGs. We start with dual lasers and a beam drone. We also have a hacking system, a clone bay and Defense Scrambler. The enemy drones cannot target anything, so if we get missiles, that'd be kind of nice. Tetragon, Tetragon, Tetragon. I don't really play with uh, sea ships all that often. It's an interesting ship because it's very reliant on drones, and I hope that we can actually uh, get enough drone parts to, you know, succeed on this ship here. But we'll try it in the Tetragon, and you know what? Kremity, great name. But Gulag, Rabbit, there you go. It's not r Rabbit, it's actually Rabito, but you know what, you're Rabbit. Um, talk. Mmm, 0020 reporting for duty, and Jorlak, you can be. Ronnie, we got 0020 and Ronnie. <laughs> Love it. Now, our Lanius, we probably want him to be the pilot, because we're not gonna have a lot of combat in the piloting room, and I don't want him to be around the ship where he's going to be running around and, uh, you know, causing trouble. E.g., he's gonna be running around sucking the oxygen away from my other systems when, I, when we're being, like, boarded or something. You know, I don't want that to happen. So we're just gonna jump ahead. Dang, I don't have a name. Well, I gotta get more crew members! And then, we gotta think about what we're gonna hack. Because I can hack their weapons, I can hack their shields. We do have 25 drone parts, which is pretty good. Uh, but we also do need the beam drone to get out there. So I'm gonna start with, I think, beam drone, and I'm gonna hack shields. They did board me in a garbage room, so I'm just gonna vent him. I'm gonna take their shields out and try to take their weapons offline. Good, we took their missile offline. Their missile is probably gonna land though. Yeah. I mean, we kind of expected that that could happen. I do hate that, now I gotta kill this, this NG though. <laughs> NG v NG, this fight will take a while. Oh, wait, uh, close the doors. I forgot, Lanius is not very good at that. <laughs> no, I'm going to die, says Ronnie. You're not gonna die, you got backup. I'm just gonna let the NGs take care of the situation. They're not very good combat personnel. They have a combat penalty, in fact, so it takes them a million years to do anything, but they're very good at repairing, so, you know, good on them for that, I guess. All right, let's um, wait for him to finish walking to his room, and then jump ahead. We got 19 scrap from that encounter. We used one drone part, technically. Aid the civilian ship, absolutely. We just have to decide, like, what we're gonna hack and when. So, like, I could hack their shields, and if the beam drone hits the shields, then the beam drone can just wreck them. But if we hack their weapons, we can take their missile launcher offline and then maybe shoot their weapon system. Um, maybe I'll try for that. You know, we'll, we'll do a little bit of an A-B test here, you know? You jerk. I gotta stop you from taking the system offline, so, you know, I'll send two NGs in there to stop you, and you're gonna probably kill my NGs. Well, I mean, I need the Lanius to get in there, really. Whatever, I'll send the NGs in there. Then, we'll hack their weapons. We'll send in the dual laser, and hope that it takes the missile launcher offline. We missed, and the drone did nothing. Okay, so I think, I think I've learned my lesson. I think in the future I am just going to uh, hack shields. <laughs> they shot down my beam drone, so that's annoying. And then we missed another two times. Okay, yeah, I've, I hacked the wrong component. For sure. Send out another drone. Just take out their shields. Thank you. You know what? That's what I wanted to do initially anyways. It worked. Thank you. 
Just keep firing on their shields, please. They actually had redundant shield power. So we actually can't even uh, punch through their ship yet. Now we can. Now the beam drone's gonna do some good, good stuff. Take out their oxygen. Keep their shields down. There we go. Contact the civilian ship. We got a, we got a lot of scrap from that too. Not enough for a second bar of shields. We're gonna wait to, to spend anything. Double twenty says, "I'm surprised Abe hasn't intentionally killed me yet." Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> uh, it's okay though, you're a robot. There he is, he's back. All right, um, let's go. I trust Abe with my life, says Gulag Rabido, or else I'll sacrifice my life for good Abe. You're gonna sell, you're gonna sacrifice your life for the Federation, you know? For the good of the universe. Yeah, if anyone has questions, feel free to ask them, you know, if you don't understand the game. It, it looks complicated, but it's really not. There's only a couple of components. Disrupts your shield systems. Let's say no. You know, the, we have a ship on the left, the enemy ship's on the right. We have systems per room, we have crew members, and we have components at our bottom. And we, at our bottom? On the bottom of the screen here. We can choose when to use the, the systems, how to power them, using the uh, the power here on the left. So in this situation, for instance, I'm gonna probably go for their shields first and let the beam drone do its magic. They have a nasty couple of weapons though. We're probably gonna get hit. And by probably, I mean we're almost certainly gonna get hit. Wow. Very lucky. Please take out their shields. Oh, I forgot to depower the shield system. Yeah, yeah, I, I took a point of damage there I didn't have to take. You know what would be nice? If, uh, oh, our beam drone's offline. Oh, hell, we gotta get that repaired. We're gonna take another two points at least. There we go. Now they can't hurt me, but that was a little silly of me to begin with. Well, it wasn't really silly. I just forgot that the beam drone was offline. All right, we took some damage, but that's expected. Now we have enough scrap to upgrade the shield system. Now we can have two bars of shields, so we're a little bit more protected. That would have that would have prevented a lot of damage from that last encounter. So, you know, we need the shields. Dun, 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 dun. Terraform, terraforming team needs assistance. Offer assistance, scan the planet, continue. It's like a toss up whether or not you get anything from that encounter. I think if you have, like if you have, no, if you have sensors two or oxygen two, you can get something. I don't know. I always forget how that how that encounter works. Now, let's do what we should have done last time and hack their shields. Turns out that ends up being a lot better in this situation when you hack the shields. Okay. Now I'm gonna take out their shields ideally. And now the beam drone can just destroy him. All right, you tried. Pew, 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 pew. You're gonna, you're not gonna make it out of here, guys. I know you're trying to get into the shield room to repair it, and it's not gonna work. Thank you. Seven scrap. I really want a um, scrap rec or a drone recovery arm. That'd be very nice. Reactor power? <sighs> we're gonna need reactor power, but for the time being, I think we're okay to save a little bit of scrap. If we can go to a store and buy a new gun, that'd be nice. Repair damage. We don't need to repair damage this early. Repairing damage is more of a, a later thing that we gotta worry about. Aid the civilian ship, absolutely. Whenever you can fight pirates, you gotta fight the pirates. Do 
Do I need to send out the beam drone? I think I do. I think they're gonna get shield uh, charge faster than I can shoot them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to use a beam drone. I, I, I would like to not, so I don't have to spend, you know, drone components. But, yeah, we're gonna need that beam drone out. I need to, I need to do, I need to somehow do consistent damage and we have to use drones. Otherwise there's, uh, you know, not much chance I think of being able to kill them. In theory we could kill them, but they could always, you know, try to escape or something. Yeah, they're, they're toast now. <laughs> Lots of sound effects of laser beams happening here. Okay, 47 scrap. There is a store. Because there's a store, I'm not gonna spend any scrap. I'm gonna go to the store in like five jumps. And we're gonna buy a new gun. Oh, intruders on board. We're gonna buy a new gun and it's gonna be amazing. They're in the shield room and the clone bay, huh? Well, if you take out the clone bay, I die. So let's stop you from doing that. How many crew members are there? There's a lot of crew members. It's not the best. Let's just make sure that we suck out the O2 as quickly as possible here. Uh, I'm sorry for the NGs. <laughs> let's just say that right now. No, come here. Okay. I'm gonna open all doors except for the weapons room. I really should have put just put someone on door control. Let's be honest, that would have been smarter. You can, actually I don't want you to take out my weapon system. Honestly, I want you on shields if you can make it there. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> I do like my NG who made it to the shield room who's like, do 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 do, just on the, on the console, do 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 do. Sorry to all my crew members who died, but we don't have a med bay. Okay, 47 scrap. Useless jump, but I wanted to go down to the nebula anyways. Kinda wish I didn't, but live and learn. I will attack the ship. They have an ion and a two-shot laser and a hacking. Let's see what they hack. They hack my shields. It, it, it does suck, but it could be a lot worse. I'm just gonna try to kill them quickly, since they hacked my shields. The bright side is that their, um, their chain laser starts off very slow, although it will speed up. That is what we needed. We needed to take out their shields with all shots. Cause now they can't hurt me! There we go. Nine scrap. I really wish we could have gotten more from that encounter, but that's okay. And one more beacon and then we can hit up that store and hope for something. Quarantine planet! Well, guess we got nothing there. By the way, Abe, I've seen you forget about the nebula event with the piloting blue event. You're right! I should, if I'm doing heavy nebula, I should get the piloting level too. Thank you for the reminder. It's been a while since I've, uh, you know, played. I'm, I'm mistaking things like that forgetting things like that. Mind control, crew teleporter, med bay. Uh, this shop sucks. We get a crew member. This shop sucks. I think we should just buy like two fuel the smallest bit of hull repair, and then I will upgrade the clone bay to level two. There we go. That is not a very good store though. It had nothing that I wanted. I can't afford anything that, that was there really. 
but then we'll go to Rebel or Mantis Controlled. I don't really want to deal with borders. Rebel Controlled ships can be kind of annoying though. Um, but Mantis is a really slow repairing. Let's do that. Sharky Oreo. FTL, heck yeah. Thank you for the resub for two years, 24 months. It's a long time. Good to see you. There was like nothing yet there. Yeah, there wasn't a lot there. Okay, this is an interesting event. I remember this one. There's an escape pod. We can jettison it or pry it open. If we pry it open and we lose a crew member, it doesn't matter because we have a clone bay. So we're gonna pry it open. Guaranteed, neutral, or success. A man bursts out of the life pod screaming and Screaming? A man bursts out of life pod screaming and claws his way into a corner. Should be like a comma there probably. A rare survivor of Mantis Captivity. Once calm, the survivor offers to join your crew for a time. We get Kirkner. Who's dying? <laughs> get out of the room with the Lanius. All right, Kirkner, you're gonna be on shields. Welcome aboard, Kirk. Captain James D. Kirk on the shield system. Have been demoted. Well, yeah, because, you, you know, you're on my ship. This is my ship, Captain. When you're on my ship, you follow my rules. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing. It's like that episode where, um, where Riker is like temporarily captaining a Klingon ship or something. <laughs> you have no power here, Kirk. It's like you can't just come aboard my ship and assume the captain's role. It's not how this works. Okay, this sucks. Um, We don't need to hack their shield system. What we need to do is get a beam drone out there and attack their shield system. Well, no, we need to attack their weapons because their shields are gonna go down in a second. He wouldn't say, I've been demoted, he would say, I've been demoted. Oh right, and Kirk is, Kirk is the wrong freaking series. Why was I thinking of TNG when that was TOS? That was my bad there, oh my god. You're not a nerd! Well that sucks, O2's offline. Um, but we can handle a little bit of, of lack of O2 here for a second. In fact, Kirk, take care of that, would you? Their weapons went offline. I missed my shots on their uh, their weapons though, but it doesn't matter because they're gonna go off. Their, their ship is dead. Pardon me, just had a mutant cough for a second. There we go. Took a couple of hits from the missiles, but that's it. Nope, I'm leaving. I don't wanna I don't wanna get stuck here forever. We could go up. Kinda wanna go down. I think we can maybe hit a hit just a couple more beacons if we go down, and we can time it a little bit better. Cannot sell my drone parts, because this is how I'm killing ships right now. It's only gonna get worse, you know, as we progress, enemies get stronger and we're gonna need more drone parts to kill them, we're gonna need more weapons to kill them and we're not gonna have that capability, will we? Okay, we're gonna get boarded. We're gonna go deal with that border. We're gonna, we're gonna try to kill him. Well, no, actually, I, I don't think I wanna kill him. I think I want him to just be weak and then maybe we can kill the crew if we're like super, super lucky about things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you a little bit. And then I want you to leave with like 15 health. Right there. Okay, don't don't take out my weapons though. Perfect. So he's one shot away from death. They can't hurt me, by the way. The enemy ships cannot do any damage to me. So I, I am thinking that this could be an opportunity to try and uh and get some crew kills and and kill the the crew of the ship. I have sensors, I can see what's going on. And as their teleporter comes back, they're just gonna send like one crew member at, at me at each time. We get them all down to 15 health, and then when they're all down to 15 health, we can, uh, we can just shoot them. 
in theory. This guy is probably going to be a little bit higher on HP, but... You know. You got him. Yeah, he's, he's two hits away from death, but still. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? You know what, Solder? You're right. I do have hacking. We need we need to upgrade that to kill ships with two bars of shields. And you know what? While doing this, we're also getting some uh, some free training. So next is going to be the pilot. He's going to board us, El Marcus. Oh, he's not going to board us. Very interesting. I would have expected them to uh, to send him my way. What if we do this? What if I damage them slightly? and then they mix around their crew, and then the pilot comes back. That's probably not gonna be the case, huh? I can probably still kill the crew. No, no, I want, I want NG, weapon NG to, to man this system. Because you have no health left. You have no health left. Let's kill you. Uh, we, can, we can take our time on this, is the thing. Like, there's only, you know, one, two... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's only, you know, so many shots that we have to take in order to kill the crew, and in theory, we can do it. Like, this guy requires seven shots to kill, and their ship has eight hull integrity. So, I can kill Marcus, and then... And then get, you know, some bonus rewards here, I think. I do worry about him leaving the engine room right as I fire, so I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him fix it up and go back to the piloting room. Why why not? Because I really don't want to miss and destroy the ship accidentally. I got him. I got him. I also don't want to like start a fire and then accidentally kill him, but uh, that shouldn't be the case. And, uh, I'm very tempted to just like murder Kirk, by the way. <laughs> be a good opportunity to do it here and then, you know, get his levels back, but maybe we'll wait until after we're done with this combat because there's no reason to do it now. You know, let's let him get some experience before we murder him. Marcus is one shot away from death, and then we'll be done! We'll have killed the crew of a ship! With nothing but dual lasers. We've done it. Four fuel. That's that's probably worth it. Matthias, welcome, how's it going? Oh god, he's dead, Jim. Alright, come back to life. Come on, do it faster, let's go, let's go. It's weird, I, I have no problem waiting for the med bay to heal everyone, because it's like, it's active, like I can see it starting the healing process. But the clone bay, I'm just looking at the bar tick up and I'm like, come on, keep going. Could you do it any f slower? Uh, giant alien spiders are no joke, we can send our crew because we have a clone bay. Kirk is gone, no! And then we get nothing, but that's okay. We tried. The important thing is we tried. So I do need to upgrade hacking. Let's go ahead and do that now, because we're gonna need these drones to, uh, to kill strong ships in the future. Gasp, Abe said, said my name right. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> Some people have hard names. Yours is pretty straightforward. I want to say. Well, listen, Kirk. I know you're not going to like this. If we have to use a drone part, what should we hack? If we have to use a drone part, like either a dual... I guess technically we don't have to use a drone part. Technically I could just fire on their... Um, their shield system a whole bunch, and then they'll eventually die. I could hack their O2 and then kill the crew. Take a shot at their clone bay when their crew dies, and then, you know, they'll be dead. 
and that wouldn't take too long to kill him, and we'll kill the crew of the ship, and it's a pirate ship. Am I okay spending a drone part on that? I don't know, kind of. It'd be something like this, and then we'll shoot their clone bay when their crew dies, and then keep them dead forever. Sure. I like murdering. Murder's fun. Okay, so we hacked our O2, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to, we can keep hacking it down in theory. 66, 67, 68. If we keep hacking it down, oh man, he's gonna come back to life. Then we might be able to uh, kill the crew. If not, then we can just hack it down and then uh, destroy the system and then it won't be able to, get, to come back. They're gonna board me again, which is highly annoying. All right, where are you gonna where are you gonna go? Hmm? Where are you gonna go? Oh, I hate like the idea of sending NGs to deal with you. What if I, what if I just open up the entire ship, except for the shield room and the shield room? <laughs> what if I just make you come fight me here? You're gonna kill Kirkner, but like whatever. All right, well you stunned me. Congratulations. You also stunned your own mantis. You guys go there, you go there, you go there. All right, let's see what happens with this, uh, with this mantis. I think the mantis is gonna flee though because I can't kill him fast enough because of their, uh, yeah, okay. So we're just going to slow play this one slightly. You know what I should do? Hold on. I should just send I should just send an NG or a human into the freaking door room. That's what I should do. This is the easy way of doing it. This is gonna take a while, but it, this is just a dumb way of handling the fight, really. Is level two hacking enough to kill the crew with oxygen? It is. It is if they have a level one O2 system. Which is what I'm kinda banking on here. Really, that's what I wanted. I've, I've been trying to do this for a while, of getting some shot to land. Now that we've hit them, they can't repair it fast enough. That's what I was, I was trying to do this entire freaking time. Oxygen 21. It took, honestly, it would, they would be dead if I just shot them with a dual laser, I think, or tried to, you know, use a beam drone or a hacking part on their shields or something. Slow played it a little bit but it doesn't matter, they'll be dead. They'll be dead! They'll be dead if I can actually kill their clone bay. They actually have a level two clone bay, so. Keep saying this is gonna take a while, like we aren't here to watch you play video games. Well, yeah, but I'd expect you'd be here to watch me play video games a little bit faster. I guess we're just gonna do some training for a little while. <laughs> All right, we good? We're good, all right. 19 scrap, probably not even worth it. At least we, you know, accomplished our objective. Man, my crew is, is getting beat up. Let's go to the exit. There's no time to do anything else, unfortunately. Sodder says, I like it when the streamer does due diligence to do the right thing. Well, then I guess I'm your favorite. NG homeworlds, NG controlled. We have NGs! We can get hull repair and then uh, something that I forget what it is. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a uh, like NG Medibot dispersal. I think it's something else. It's like titanium system casing or something. Um, do I want to upgrade? I would like some more reactor power. I know that there's two stores here, but I want stores at the end of the floor usually, not the beginning. In theory, maybe it doesn't really matter when it shows up, but it's like it's personal preference, you know? So we're gonna be boarded once again. We're gonna go on shields. Let's, um, let's get you into my room with my NG. Kirk is having a bad time though. Let's maybe uh, swap them out for a second. 
I'm tempted to just use a beam drone too, but I don't I don't think we have to. I think we can just do this and then I want I want to take their weapons out. It might be slow, but I want to make sure they don't do that much damage to me. Yeah, because I was worried about something like that. Now we just have to stall and delay. Virus with hacking could fix your ship. I guess if I get a hacking level three, we could get that event. Come on, you go first, then you go second. Because I, I can't hurt the enemy ship with them having full shields. I kind of have to wait. We don't real. I don't really need to take their um, their laser offline, but if they ionize my shields, they'll be able to do a lot of damage. So I, I do kind of want to keep hitting their weapon systems because if they only have the ion bomb, eventually they'll run out of bombs. So this is not necessarily a bad strategy. Let them burn through their bombs, and then they'll be good. It's three damn. Well, I think if you get if you have third level hacking, the virus event is the best it can be. If you have second level hacking, I think you do get a positive outcome, but it's not like as major. It doesn't like heal your ship to full, you know. I know I could use another beam drone too, but I don't want to. <laughs> now watch as they ionize my shield on the next shot too. Thank God for that miss. Good, they're trying to surrender, no thank you. This ship could easily escape if I'm not using all my drone parts, but again, like I just need like another gun. Cause the dual laser, it's too slow to use it in conjunction with the hacking to get two shots in. I can get one shot in, but not two. But if I had like another dual laser or something, then I could, I could take their shields out and then just focus on their weapons on the second volley. But right now it's a little slow. Although I was able to sneak in a shot though and take their shields slightly offline. Luckily they missed. So did I. They're gonna start repairing their shields. Hopefully they don't get them repaired, but I was, you know, able to sneak in a couple of more shots now that I took their shields partially offline. And hopefully this'll this'll do them in. Bit of a bit of a long fight, but. We knew it was gonna be a long fight when we entered it. Now I am tempted to go to the store. I'm like, okay, if I go to the store, maybe I can get a new gun. The problem is, is that I don't have a lot of scrap, but when are we gonna get a lot of scrap? You know? Anti-personnel drone. Okay, that's worth selling and that's a decent amount of scrap. So now we'll do it. I could keep the drone and use it, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for. So we're gonna sell that. Now I could take a burst laser. That is a great gun. I could also take a flak gun. That's also a great gun. These are really good weapons. In fact, I'm very tempted to sell the beam drone, which means we can still use hacking. We could also sell the defense scrambler and keep the beam drone. We could sell them both. That's 65 credits, 65 plus 75. We can't afford the burst laser too. We could afford the flak. We can, essentially we can only afford one gun unless I sell literally everything including the dual laser. So if I wanted one gun, what would I want? Burst laser or flak? Probably flak because it has a similar charge time to the dual lasers. In fact, it's the same charge time. So we can just combo that a little bit faster. Burst Laser 2 is very good and I would like it in the late game, but Flak is also, you know, essentially the same thing. I think we should sell the Defense Scrambler. And I think we should buy a Flak gun. You can start fires. You're right, Burst Laser can start fires. But I think because it's cheaper and it has the same number of shots, the flat gun is good enough. It's faster so we can actually attack faster too, which I like. So we're gonna take that. Um, I, I think I'm even gonna sell the beam drone. I don't like the beam drone. I don't think we need it. I think I'd rather just get weapons right now. 
Maybe we can get some combat drones or something later. Um, we're gonna buy their fuel. I really wish I could take a loan out on this gun. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the remaining scrap that we have and we're gonna get two levels of weapons so we can use both guns at the same time. So now we have a flak and a dual laser, which is good enough for quite some time. You know, this is five shots. We can punch through enemy shields with five shots. One drone part for four fuel, no thank you. You know, this will allow us to kill everything on this sector and probably the next sector too. Investigate the wreckage. Don't, don't I need like piloting for this? I don't know, but we didn't get anything anyways. But I think we improved ourselves very nicely then. Uh, they're gonna shut down my engines. Do I wanna hack them? Yeah, I do. That way I have a more higher dodge chance. Because in 10 seconds, I'm gonna take their weapons offline. Like, there's not much they can do about this. They took my weapons offline, but at least I still have the dual laser. You know, a dodge would be nice. <laughs> there goes my dual laser. But yeah, I, I like this. You know, flak dual laser, they have the same charge time, so once, he, once I fire the first couple of volleys, I can just set them to auto. Like, even right now, I can just set them to auto and just let them go. I hate that, though. I hate that they powered up their, uh, their Leto. I think it is a Leto. Maybe not. How much damage did it do to me? Did it do one or two? I don't remember. Kitty Kimmy, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Long time no see. Good to see ya. 11 scrap. Good enough. Dock with the refueling platform. I have no doors. I'm gonna do this anyways. Oh. Yeah, I'll accept your offer. Most of the time when you get that event, it just hurts you. You know, you get boarded and whatnot, but sure, I'll just, I'll buy some fuel. It's cheaper than a store price. Uh, reactor, yes, give me a reactor upgrade. We'll keep going. Hit up as many beacons as possible. Holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. It's a freaking glaive beam, okay. Interesting. I mean, I love getting free guns. Uh, that's a little ridiculous, but I'll take it. This is definitely a shield hack situation, just saying. You guys can go there. That's a pretty good weapon to just have floating in space. You know, I'll take it. Good, now they have no weapons. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Uh, we're probably not going to kill the crew. We did kill one of their crew members, but we're probably not gonna be able to kill the crew. Oh, I wish I could open the door and burn him to death. Unfortunately, I can't. You know, because there's a small chance I can kill the crew. What are they doing? They're not even trying to put out the fire anymore. Oh, oh, they're in there. No, they're not. They walked through the room. Yo, go into the shield room, please. What are they doing? I can, I can look. Why, why am I not looking? That's not the sensor room. There's a the sensor room. Oh, that's, that's probably why they're not trying to put out the fire, huh? Because <laughs> they're dying. <laughs> well, um, I could kill you pretty easily. I don't know if I'm gonna kill this guy anytime soon. I gotta wait for like the fire to spread or something. Don't do that. Oh, lock him in. Take out their, ox the, their oxygen. Look at that. He's freaking dead, dude. Oh, what's that? You can't get out? Oh no. Your friend should go in there and repair the shield system, probably. I still can't, like, I, I gotta kill him though because they're gonna shoot a missile at me in a second. 
So, like, I hate to say this, but... They're probably going to get their uh, their missile launcher online, and when they do, that's the end of your days. So, what's going to kill him? Kill him first, my gun or their oxygen? You should just surrender, Steli. Steli, Steli. It was going to repair the O2 now, you jerk. Steli. Alright, sorry, Steli. You did this to yourself. Ten scrap, give them scrap. No, if I don't if you can't give them the the full deal, give them nothing. Because you don't get anything out of the other one. Alright. This this ship is pretty good right now. The ship is getting it done. We have decent weapons and we have a hacking system, so it's all pretty good. Oh hey, look at this! A small merchant ship messages you. Underground Federation comm channels are all talking about your secret mission. Let us install a weapon to help. Good luck. Why does a random small merchant ship know about my secret mission? How secure is the Federation comm technology? When a random ship can hack it. Sucks. Anyways, we get a breaching missile. Which is really freaking good. Um, definitely a late game thing. Although... It's nice to have, because if our weapons can't pierce the enemy shields, that will. So I will take it and use it. Zoltan or Slug? 